Hey guys, welcome to another Unity tutorial in Unity 2018. This can be used in 2017 or 18 and above, and it's using the video player, and it's to how to slow video down or a video clip down when you've got it. All I've got in this is if I show you the example, I'll press play here, and you can see my video playing almost like a bit of a cinema screen, and you can see it on there. Now, all we've got in this as an example is we've got a plane, with a video player component on it, I have added the video clip to the section and added an audio source just so we can play audio if we want to. Now, that's all well and good, it plays at normal speed, but you can see that when it plays on a wake, we've got a playback speed. So we can adjust this and, you know, if we put it at 0 0.6, let's say, so almost 60% of the actual normal speed that it was at originally. So you'll see it would be much slower, but how can we actually control that in code? So this lends itself to a lot of different areas of using the video player component. So what we can do is create a new script and I'll create a C sharp script and call it slow down video or something like that. And we'll open up in Visual Studio. From here, from here what we can do is we'll get rid of the two starting methods and at the top we need to use a new collection and it will actually be using unity engine dot video with a semicolon because if we try and reference any parts of the actual um, video player it won't like it because it'll be saying you know where why am I supposed to find this information so what we can start by doing is in square brackets um, we can write serialized field and we can write private video player and then we can call this my video or something like that as an example. So what we could do then is we can write void update, two brackets, then two curly brackets below. And we can say that, so in this instance, what do we want to do? Do we want to do a little input? So when we press a key, then we're gonna affect the playback speed. So we'll say that if input.get key down, and we can say key code dot E, something like that and then under there we'll have two curly brackets and we'll say that if we press E what we want to do is we want to change the playback speed so we could say something along the lines of my video dot and then if you remember if we go back into unity on our video player we had playback speed so if we go back into visual studio and say my video dot and then we can search something called playback speed and then we can set this equal to 0.5 F with a semicolon. So when we press E, we expect to change it to 0.5. So we can go back into Unity again. We can make the playback speed, we can put it at one again, for an example. We can add our slowdown script to there, just as an example. We want to add our video player, so we'll add that in here. Then what we can do is we can press play. The video will be playing at normal speed, as you can see. Then we press E, we'll get a much slower video because we get it at half the speed that it was normally running at if you wanted to create a sort of dramatic effect. And you can, you could go back into your script and instead of doing a sort of constant value, you could just say uh, video speed, something like that. And then we could add a new serialized field at the top, call it private float video speed and then we can specify in the inspector exactly what we might want so that's really all you need to do and as we see when we created that variable for the inspector we can then specify how fast or how slow so you can double the speed slow it down depending if you're trying to create a funky effect in side of unity hopefully this was helpful to some people so thanks very much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers